Howdy friends and welcome back to Toybox Nostalgia! I'm Douglas and in this video we're going to be ripping into the Kyoto Revil Tech line Disney Pixar Studios Toy Story Woody action figure version 1.5. I'm so happy to finally open this. I've had this sitting here for months. I picked this up from Big Bad Toy Store. This video is not sponsored by anyone. And I actually made a Toy Story category in my Smug Mug site like months ago. It's just been sitting there empty. I really want to take photos of this. The biggest challenge for me was the scale. So the scale is kind of weird for this. It's kind. It's a six inch action figure, but it's not really one twelve scale because if you think about it, the action figure is supposed to represent a toy, which is probably around ten or eleven inches uh, in re in the show, I guess. Pretty tall. Woody's actually pretty tall in the show, uh, but. The biggest hurdle, honestly, was finding other Toy Story characters and toys and such that fit along with the scale, but guess what, my friends? I did that groundwork for you, and that's going to be in another video. This, this is just awesome. I can't wait to take Toy Story toy photographs. It's just, I feel like that's something that's just meant to be, right? Anyways, if you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see more content like this, show up into your YouTube news feed, please consider hitting that subscribe button truly helps out the channel. If you like the content of this video, or if you're just a Toy Story fan, or a Disney fan, or you just like Woody, give me a thumbs up. I'd love you so much forever. And drop a comment below letting me know what you think of the Kyoto Revil Tech Disney Pixar Studios toy line. So far, as of right now, they have Woody, they have Buzz, Jesse, and Zerg. And I have all of them to open up with you, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to catch you after this quick break. Here it is my friends, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging before ripping this to shreds. Look at this, this is absolutely amazing. There's go you're going to see a lot of Japanese writing on this and I can't read Japanese writing so I don't know what any of this stuff says, uh, but what we do see in English I can read. First of all, the front of the box has a massive window showing off five full facial expressions. That's fantastic. We see the one of them is attached to the action figure. We have Woody's microphone from Toy Story 1. We have his hat. We have an alien, a space alien. If we look down inside there, we could see Lenny. Lenny's in there too. And there might be other stuff in there. I'm totally not sure. So this says it's version 1.5. There have been a lot of re-releases of this. I really wish that Kyoto um, would re-release their Ninja Turtles from the Revil Tech line because I thought those looked absolutely awesome. They were like the 2012 style Ninja Turtles and those are really expensive. I'm pretty sure if you want all four of those Ninja Turtles that are like plastic action figures, it's like a thousand dollars on eBay. <laughs> so that doesn't really make any sense. But anyways, flipping over to the side, we see it says Revil Tech and it says Woody and then so there's some Japanese writing. Version 1.5, Disney Pixar, Toy Story. Flipping over to the back, we could see loads of poses. They took a lot of great photos of this. Whoever sculpted this did a fantastic job. Like, look at that. How does that know? This is so movie accurate except the size. Well, plus in the movie, he actually had fabric. This is all plastic. Include little green men. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's green man. I think we only get one. But that's okay. Look, as we could see here, this is his, uh, his microphone. Looks absolutely awesome. And we get a hand from Buzz, maybe? Uh, we can see Buzz holding Lenny, and then we see different um, facial expressions. One of the coolest things about this action figure, I'm not sure if you know this or not, but the eyes, you can articulate, you can move the individual eyeballs in this action figure. The face comes off, and then there are two little pins coming off the eyeballs sitting in sockets, and you can literally use a tool that comes with this, or your, your fingers, and just kind of move the actual irises seemingly around anywhere you want to. And for a toy photographer, that is a dream come true. I can't express that enough. I'm super excited to get this open. So down here we have option parts on the right hand side. We do see everything that comes with this in one shot here. We have the alien, we have Lenny, we have the tool to move the eyes around, the hat, the microphone, some extra hands, and a Buzz Lightyear hand. Super cool. Flipping over to the bottom, we can see there's a hologram here, so we know it's real. Typically stuff that comes from Big Bad Toy Story, I just assume it's just going to be real. I, just, I, I don't know why I have so much trust in them. That's weird. We have an actual serial number stamped into the box right here. 
Here's the barcode in case you need it. Yeah, so that's about it. This is the top of the box here. We see another really nice uh, toy photography shot right here of the action figure. Look how good it looks. It just looks absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and tear this open. I don't see any tape on here, so that's kind of nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this stuff out. Whoop. There's nothing else in here. As you see here, it's just a big, really nice package. But let's first take a look at this nice backdrop of Andy's bedroom. <laughs> oh, it looks so cool. Oh, I love that. So awesome. I had one of these mats when I was a kid. Not this exact same one, but uh, I had mats like this that my mom made for me that I could use Matchbox cars on. And this looks awesome. This looks like a castle. Oh, so nice. Okay, so the action figure we have... Yep, we have plastic over plastic. Uh, and you can see everything that comes in the package, nice and neat. And there is Buzz's extra hand. So let's go ahead and get this open. Okay, so I pulled the plastic off the top and I apologize, stuff kind of flew all over the place. Yeah, it's probably supposed to go over here. This is probably what it's supposed to look like. And the action figure is in fact inside of the, the bubble here with some twisty ties. So let's go ahead and take everything out. Okay, so everything is out so far except the action figure. I'm gonna go ahead and rip that open now. Okay, so here is the action figure. Look how nice this is, right? Got some plastic here. Looks like we have some more plastic we need to take off. Does he come apart here to get that plastic out? Yep, he definitely does. So I'm just gonna pull this off here and then pull this plastic out. All right, look at that. So the plastic is now off the waist. Wow, these joints are really tight on this action figure. There's more plastic here. I'm gonna have to remove the head. Okay, so the amount of, of detail on this makes no sense to me. Look, just look at, let's start with the face. Look at the face right here. That's crazy, right? The only thing it's missing, I think, is like the highlighted swirl here in the hair. But darn, that just looks so good for an action figure. The proportions, I think, look great. Like this, I think the proportions are awesome. Uh, <laughs> the handkerchief, as I showed you before, that's crazy to me. It doesn't even make any sense. The paint, like the wash that they put inside of the shirt here, these are individual grooves. Uh, this just with like a wash over it to get that orange paint in there or somebody just painted every single line. We have the vest, looks absolutely awesome. The buttons and then the sheriff badge right here. Um, you might want to be careful here with the arm and the badge because he might actually break a piece off there. Uh, I'm going to have to be careful with that, but take a look at the belt buckle. This doesn't even make any sense. How, how did they make this level of detail? Look at that right there. That's fantastic, right? His belt is like a soft rubber and he's all, he, the whole thing is pretty much a flat finish except the boots. The boots are kind of glossy as you see there. This articulation is going to be crazy because everything is on a ball joint. <laughs> oh, this is so great. Let's flip him over to the back. You can see he's got his pull string right there. Very awesome. You can see the belt continuing back here. He's even got pockets on his pants and he's got spurs on his cowboy boots. Look at there's even cacti on there. Cactus? On his cuff, he's got a button right there. You can see that. And the buttons on the shirt just look awesome. All right, so let's check out articulation. Let's take a look at the head first. Uh, so first of all, he could look up pretty far. He could look down pretty good. He's got tilt. A little bit of tilt there, not much. And then, you know, he could swivel because obviously this is on a peg. And this could be my own fault. Like I could have put the handkerchief on upside down or something, but uh, the articulation is pretty good in the head. Moving down to the arm, you can see it's, there's a ball joint in there. So it's going to swivel every which way and go out. You could pretty much almost get any pose out of that. Taking a look at the elbow, again, another ball joint. You can swivel, you can bend it in certain directions as you see here's like a hinge so the hinge only goes one direction obviously i'm not even sure i can't even see the hinge like i don't even know where it is and then the hands we have a hinge on the hand so we can bring the hand in and oh you kind of see the hinge is kind of like the ball itself is split yeah see that that's probably the hinge there and the hinges are or i'm sorry the hands are on these these pegs right here so you could swap out the hands really easily. Very awesome. 
going down to the waist, he does not have like a torso cut, uh, but he can he could bend a lot at the waist. He could like do a lot of different crazy poses. And then moving down to the pelvis area, we could see those those ball joints there. I'm guessing they're the Kyoto or the Revil Tech um, ball joints that are pretty much throughout the entire action figure. So you can get some really good wide range of movement from most of these joints. And then take a look at the knee. We can swivel at the knee, the same exact joint everywhere. We don't swivel at the boot cut, but at the foot, thankfully, we've got like like a, a rocker almost just because of the ball joint. That's just absolutely awesome. And you can get loads. Look at this articulation in this foot. Oh, that's so crazy. So that's it. It's, everything's the same on the other half. The gun holster looks fantastic. The action figure looks absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look at the accessories. So let's start with his hat. That's awesome. The hat looks really good. The stitching is the same exact color as the, the hat itself, but there is this dark brown band around here. It's a flat finish. It's a rubbery material. Moving on, let's take a look at this space alien here. It does have articulation, my friends. Look at that. These aren't ball joints, unfortunately, but they still move. One of the coolest aspects of this is that you're never going to believe this. this is crazy. You can move all three individual eyeballs on this. I'll we'll take a look at that here in just a sec. I want to take a look at the details. Like, take a look at that. That's just, that's straight up Toy Story. Like, this is so accurate. It doesn't even make any sense. Disney Pixar. Look at that. Look at the little space emblem on it. It's crazy how good the paint application is and the amount of detail. It's crazy to me. So when I were taking uh, toy photographs, I don't normally like pho Photoshop out seams. Like I, I kind of want my toys to look like toys, but in this case, like see this big cut right here on his head, I'd probably Photoshop something like that out uh, just because it's easy and we just use the clone tool, the stamp tool and just go across the entire head. Super easy, but let's start with articulation. Moves at the head and moves up and down here. Swivel, 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 and that's it. Here's Lenny. Does Lenny have any type of articulation? No, I don't see any, but that's okay. I finally have a Lenny, which is awesome. <laughs> and he's the scale. If you check it out here, this is, this is a good scale for Lenny for this action figure. Very cool. Look at the paint application. Fantastic. Look at the amount of detail, the like, the little knob right here, the wheels the to focus. They even put a lighter blue paint inside of here and it's not really showing up good on the camera, but in person, it looks like light is coming through there. I don't know what kind of trickery that is. It's, it's neat. Those little blue dots, they, when I'm looking at it, it looks like I'm seeing through that. And like there's light coming through Lenny's eyes. Wow, this is seriously, one of the nicest action figures I think I've opened so far. Let's take a look at the microphone. Nothing really moves on it, just a solid piece of plastic. Still very, very cool. The hands, right? So this hand has a peg right in the center of it, and that is most likely to hold Lenny. See, there's a hole right there, and if we slide that peg into there, you can take a toy photo that makes it look like Woody is in fact holding Lenny up to his eyes to view. Yeah, see? He's kind of like holding on to Lenny, like kind of holding him up to his face. Very cool. I like that a lot. I think Lenny looks awesome. So, this was the hand that was on the action figure. As you see, we have two open hands here. We have a grip hand, probably for the microphone, and then we have a pointing finger hand uh, for funny poses, right? Here are the different facial expressions that we get with this Woody action figure. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on camera, but the cheeks are like the tops of the cheeks are painted like a peach color almost to give the, the toy some life. Looks absolutely fantastic. We have this creepy face. We have the scared face. We have the happy face, kind of excited happy face. And then we have the gross face, like he's like about to touch something that's disgusting. And then on the action figure, we just have a basic smile here. This is Buzz's hand that comes with this action figure. As you see, there's a peg there so that he can also hold Lenny. Very cool. And then this is the tool you're going to use to move the, the eyes around. So let's take a look at that next. Let's start with the alien. 
and the face just comes right off. And wow, look how cool that is. So the peg is turned 90 degrees and pushed into this, this the back of the head right there. Here are the eyes and here are the pegs to move the eyes, right? That's crazy. <laughs> It's probably easiest just to move them if you want to get like really good precision to use this tool uh, because you can get inside here and you can like kind of go like this or I'm guessing they made it so you can also put the peg inside of the circle and yeah you can move them they're kind of tight these eyes are kind of tight but that's okay yeah just so it's kind of straight so we have all three eyes looking straight forwards very cool uh, I can imagine this, you know, just doing this right before taking a toy photograph or setting the toy photograph up uh, just to have, you know, eyes pointing in different directions because that's, that's kind of a big deal. Like, see this one right here? Let's take a look at Woody now. See his little eye pegs there? You can make goofy eyes, right? Oh, it's weird. It's like when you're playing a first-person shooter, like an inverted uh, XY stick, right? <laughs> it's, that's what it's like, kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, see how this is up here inside here? To get this out, I would just use this right here. and Just kind of work it around to get it into a position that looks kind of straight. You know, I'd probably start with that. <laughs> Goofy as eyes are. But seriously, the paint application on the pupil, I'm sorry, the iris. Look at, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but his iris is painted. There we go. Got his eyes lined up straight. Looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and swap out the face so you can see what that process is like. See the two peg holes right there? It says E in these two pegs. Just going to push this in. Wow, look how long that neck is. That's crazy. But again, it's just like the alien. We could see that the ball joint is just turned. The ball joint's actually holding on the back of the head. Very cool. So I'm going to put these pegs, line this up. There we go. Now we have a scared Woody. The joints are hella tight on the whole thing. I Maybe I'll warm it up, I don't know, or maybe I'm just going to go slow with it. The one thing that, honestly, I'd watch out for is uh, the, little, the little sheriff badge, because you could probably break it off if you moved his arm in a certain way, but... It's just, this is crazy. This is absolutely beautiful, and I'm very happy with this action figure. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions. Here we go, right? All Japanese, so I don't really understand any of it, but I can look at the photos. <laughs> at least I can do that. So it shows you how to move the eyes around using the tool. It shows you how to remove the face. It shows you how to insert the microphone into the hand. Insert Lenny into the peg on this style hand. Very cool. How to move the eyes around on the alien or little green men. <laughs> and then we have the hat. I'm guessing this says forwards and this is backwards. Or front and back rather. And then we have a picture of Buzz in Buzz's hand holding Lenny. Very cool. Flipping over to the back is just paper. Let's take a look at this stand and see if it can, we can use it. Whoa. That was unexpected. To stand Woody up. I don't doubt it. I feel like these stands are always really nice. Every time I get one of these, it's like really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in the back here. And then we're going to put this on here. And then, yeah. So there's, it's not springy at all, but it's very tight. It's using friction to close. So we could do something like this. And then we can pose him in the air. The cool thing about these being clear is that they're much easier to Photoshop out of a, of a photograph, but this is how high in the air Woody is. Like he can go this high, uh, which I'd say is about three or four inches off the ground. Very cool. This is a very nice stand. Holy cow. Finally, the very last thing that I completely forgot to show you, which I just noticed now, was when we were taking a look at the details of the action figure, we forgot one very important aspect, and that is, take a look at that. This is awesome. This is, this is beautiful. This is an absolute, this is a piece of art. This is a moving, articulating piece of art that you can integrate into your artwork.
So this is it my friends, this was the Toy Box Nostalgia Unboxing and Review of the Kyoto Revil Tech Disney Pixar Studios Toy Story Woody Action Figure version 1.5. I'd love to know what you think of this action figure, so please drop a comment below letting me know what you think. If you like the content of this video, please hit give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, please consider hitting that subscribe button to have more videos and more content like this show up into your YouTube news feed. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Remember, collect and shoot.